guys, it is Michelle, and we are back to show more toys. There's a lot here, and I hope you are ready. So we're going to start next with this Little Mermaid set. Now this set, uh, I gotta actually cheat and find out the year on these. I don't remember the year offhand, but when this set came out, um, they came in these bags that you couldn't see. And you could either get a regular toy or you can get the special edition gold one. So we went crazy for this. So we're just going to get started. I did get a couple of the gold. This is Eric. And these were pool, like um, bath toys you were supposed to use in the bath. So Eric has these little like wheels that you can actually just play with him. Um, not in the tub. And what he does is that he rows. I also have, so you can see them side by side. I also did get the gold edition. Well, one of them was my brother's. And then I don't remember who got who. He really didn't care about like the little mermaid. I did. It was the first movie I ever saw when I was a kid. But the it's the same toy, but they're spray painted or painted gold instead of the uh, traditional paint. Everybody wanted the gold ones. I'm just like not looking. I would rather have the regularly painted one. But getting a gold one was like super fancy. So there's the Eric Gold and the Eric Regular. I got regular Sebastian. And with Sebastian, you wind him up and he does his little... Oh, his eyes are kind of creepy here. Who doesn't love Sebastian? He's a relatively big toy. Never got the gold one of him, though. Um, we did have a regular Scuttle, but I don't know where he is. But this is the gold Scuttle. And him you wind up and you put him in the tub and he swims you can see that the gold paint has turned green it's kind of gotten a patina on it but he's still very very cute next is max and what you do with max in the tub is you take his little arms and you wind them up and get him to focus and then Thank you. He's very cute. But last but certainly not least from that collection is obviously Ariel. So there she is, and she can move slightly. She's holding uh, what looks like a little seahorse. I don't know why she's clenching onto the seahorse for dear life, um, but she is. Can you see that? Her eyes are a little freaky. In my opinion, eyes are always weird with these kinds of things. And then we got the gold Ariel, which is even creepier, in my opinion. But I remember getting her made my day. How cute. But I don't know why she's, like, hanging on to that seahorse for dear life. That makes no sense to me. But this was a big thing. Everybody was going crazy to get those little gold toys. Next we have, oh, he also came, I showed you the Cinderella from those uh, VHS box ones. This is Dodger. He also came with one of those VHS boxes. I love this movie. It was really cute. Dodger was the cool cat. Well, he's a dog, but you know what I mean. He was really awesome. He's artic articulated a little bit in his legs. Uh, his head does move a little. Very cute. Next is this set. Um, these were like a little train. This came from Pocahontas 2 and they're sitting on top of their VHS tape and if you pull the sides out either the front or the back you could join other ones. So this is Pocahontas 2, A Journey to a New World and you can see the side here of the VHS. You got Miko the raccoon right there. You can kind of get a glimpse of the um, VHS slightly like if you look really close I can see like Pocahontas on there and some other characters but this is the outfit that Pocahontas wore to the new world I didn't like this movie this when they do second movies come on come on you almost had it 
There she is. Kind of like a wedding gown. But um, I didn't like the second one. I normally don't like the seconds from Disney. But um, so that's her. She's going to go actually into the um, cell pile as well. And then the other one I have is Lady and the Tramp. So they're also sitting on top of their... Fiddle. You may hear Jesse in the background. There's lots of sounds today. It's getting quite annoying, to be honest. There's somebody outside mowing and my phone's going off. Leading the tramp, and you can see better on this one the um, picture on the VHS tape. And when this moves, when you, because you put them on a train, they turn and they kiss. So cute. It doesn't have the year on this one though either. Isn't that adorable? I really like this one. This one we're going to keep though. Next we have some Toy Story ones. I don't believe these came from the same collection, these two toys. So this is Rex. And he's broken. Because um, you're supposed to like push his legs back and he would move. He doesn't do that anymore. But he looks really good um, compared to the one in the movie. This came from the first movie. And he looks absolutely awesome. He's not really good. And the next one that I have is this guy here. And this is one of the little aliens. I always wanted like one of the exact aliens from those machines. I always thought they were cool. And these toys are just tops. And these always fascinate me. I used to have Mulan ones like this too. I don't think kids today really like playing with these kinds of things. They're all about their electronics. But look at how cute he is. Isn't he adorable? I don't know about you guys. Do we keep? I don't know. Well, I think we're going to hang on to these for now. They're super cute. Next, I'm going to show you an ancient, this thing's seen way better days. This is one of my Cabbage Patch Kids he baby toy. Um, this one I actually did have as a child. It's made out of rubber. And I swear, these rubber toys, they get so disgustingly gross. And I don't remember what happened to the hand if my mom's poodle ate it or if it just broke off because it's got, it's made out of this weird brittle um rubber a lot of toys were made like that i can't read i think it says 1984 on it. it's actually older than me i mean it's cute but it's uh creepy too <laughs> it's definitely seen way better days this toy so on to the next these are some of my miscellaneous poly pockets. I have a lot of these bags for like jewelry making. So I keep little poly pockets in here so they don't get lost. Right here, there's a little red haired poly. I don't remember where these came from. These just a regular poly and a little car. So they're all there. Next, this is. Hush Puppy from Lamb Chop's Play Along. This is Baby Hush Puppy. He's one of those rubber toys. He came with Lamb Chop and Ch Charlie Horse, but they're not here. Um, so they may be in storage somewhere else. I don't know. But there's Hush Puppy. The baby ones are my favorite. Anthony had, my brother had a set of these little rubber things. That we got them at the same time. I got him, Baby Lamb Chop, and Charlie Horse and once it, and my brother got from Shiny Time Station, um, Little Thomas the Tank Engine. He got the characters that were inside the jukebox, which those were so cool. I wish he still had those. Those were awesome. Got that. As I drop him, I'm sorry. Next, this character is named. Oh my goodness! Please tell me you have your name on there. This came out in 1989. Grimmy. Okay. Look at this. This this reminds me of like 80s like office desk. So it's his name is Grimmy. He's this cute little dog. Does anybody else remember Grimmy? It says fleas on board. I think we found this at a dollar store or something years years and years and years ago. I've had this guy for a long time. I thought he was super cute. I don't know what fleas on board means. Why would you want this on your desk? Why would anybody want fleas? I don't know, but he's cute, very old. Next I have this toy. This came from, oh my gosh, I know Littlefoot. This is Petrie. This came from Burger King. Oh, 
The Land Before Time, that's right. Now this is marked as 1997 and he is actually a um, squirt toy. So you fill him with water back here. And he actually changes color too. And then once you fill him with water, he pushes legs down and not only does his wings move, but he uh, squirts water at you. And he's really cute actually, this one. I know you want to hear me say, this one's cute and this one's cute. He looks pretty close to what they depict in uh, the cartoon. I think it was called Petri. Petri? Yeah, Petri. Cute! I love all my toys. Alright, guys. Um, we're going to pause here and come back for the next part. There's going to be a lot of parts because there's lots of toys. I'll be right back. <laughs> 